to Vlogmas Day 24! This is the final day of Vlogmas for me and I just want to say how incredibly thankful I am that you guys even watched any of my videos this year. Um, this <laughs> has been such a fun experience for me and I have really enjoyed doing it. And this is my first year doing Vlogmas so there was a lot of things that I sort of had to come up with and figure out on my own and on the fly but I thought it would be good for this video to sort of go back and reflect on Vlogmas and my first year doing it and give some tips and things that I wish I had known beforehand to sort of improve for next year's Vlogmas or if you guys wanted to do Vlogmas next year at some point. These are just some tips that I learned uh, while going through it. This time, um, you know, this Vlogmas, I did a lot of Christmas covers. I did some bullet journaling content. I did some shopping and showed you guys what I was getting people for Christmas and what I wanted for Christmas. Uh, I did a vlog where I cleaned my room for a winter cleaning session. And I will say that I didn't do Vlogmas the way that a lot of people do it. I mean, it's literally in the name Vlogmas. Most people will vlog every single day of December. Um, but for me, it just sort of wasn't optimal. I had exams at the beginning of this month and so I needed to come up with or quote unquote batch the content that I was making in order to not completely be overwhelmed and stressed out during my exam week. And also this channel just doesn't really do vlogs that like I don't really do vlogs that much just because I am still a pretty private person and I you know I want to make sure that what I'm doing are and putting out online are things that people one can't track back to me or just you know also the privacy of my family is very important and for me as well so uh normally vlogs are not something that I do but I sort of modified vlogmas for this channel and tried to come up with things that I think would be you know beneficial or you know entertaining for you guys to watch I was really surprised at how the covers did in terms of views so far they've been doing pretty well compared to some of my other videos so I just, again, I really thank you guys for watching that. Um, one of the things that I learned in terms of batching the content is that really my strategy for this Vlogmas was I would maybe spend a day and I would film like three or four videos, most of the time four videos, back to back to back, and then I would spend the next day editing all of those videos, uploading those videos, making thumbnails, and you know, having them scheduled and ready to go. And then I would repeat that process over until we're, where we're at now. Um, and I think that the strategy worked really well for me, um, just in terms of how my schedule is. Um, a lot of the times I have, now that I'm out of school, I have a lot of free time. So I can sort of spend that time, you know, devoted to one specific thing. And I think that it helped, one, because I didn't have to, you know, re-get ready every single day and film a new video and come up with a video and all of that. Two, I think that it helped me get in the mood because once I was in the, you know, routine of like editing a cover, it would be super quick and I could do another one right then and there. Um, and it saved me from having to like start that whole process over and I think it helped motivate me to get to, you know, the end of Vlogmas because I would be like, okay, I need to edit three videos today. Um, but once I'm done editing that, I can film the videos tomorrow and keep going with that process and it sort of helped me keep on track. So I'm really proud and happy of that strategy. I think for next year, the only thing I think I could improve on in terms of my is in terms of my quality i think that because you have to make a video for every single day of december there's a lot of things you have to sacrifice in terms of quality in terms of the edit quality of making thumbnails i didn't have like all of this time that i normally would have to make like one thumbnail for a video i had to use that same amount of time to make three so it was quite um <laughs> a lot in terms of that and i do think that i did have to sacrifice on quality for some of the things some of the videos I will say it did not come out exactly how I envisioned it in terms of the final editing, but I think overall, like, I am very proud that I was able to complete this challenge and do this, and uh, I had so much fun doing it too. I always try to love the videos that I make, and so being able to do that and have, like, so many videos go up, especially after my months long break, I feel like was just very helpful for my motivation in terms of doing YouTube and everything like that. Um, I think that, you know, the covers are a lot shorter than my typical videos. A lot of the times with my videos, I like to make them around 15 minutes, you know, um, average, average up, but the covers allowed me to make a lot of quick videos because the covers were only really like three minutes. Um, 
So that did help me in terms of being able to produce those videos quickly and not be spending forever trying to edit them. Um, so I will say that this strategy doesn't necessarily work for every channel because, you know, people that actually are vlogging every single day, you know, they have a bigger challenge in terms of they have to get footage for the whole day, enough for a video, then edit that video in that day and then post it up. Or they could batch content as well, but it takes a lot longer. So I was very thankful that the format of this channel allowed me to have a lot of shorter videos that I could upload. I also did end up filming like one or two shorts just in case there was a day that I was just behind or you know couldn't get a video out or edit it or whatever up in time um, that I like pre-recorded that I could throw up there just in case to say that I did a video that day. But luckily enough I didn't end up having to need those shorts because I just was able to batch enough content in that those couple of days to where I was ahead of schedule every single time. Like right now, I'm filming the final video. I've already filmed the past three videos that you've seen today. Today And tomorrow for me, I am gonna be uploading and editing those videos and it is about December 20th or something. So I'm ahead of the game in terms of uploading and everything like that, which again, I'm very proud of. And I was honestly not expecting myself to be so, you know, on schedule for these things, which is why I prepared some shorts in advance. But yeah. Um, I think overall, you know, any tips I have for next year, I think is just to make my videos more consistent, like I say, I say this just in general, but to make the video quality more consistent throughout, um, you know, covers, like I said, are very easy for, this for me to do for Vlogmas because they're super easy to edit and quick and short to film. The only thing that takes a while is just, you know, recording the cover itself. But I do think that because of that, I sort of got comfortable and I didn't push myself necessarily as much as I normally could have for a cover. You know, I sort of just like sang the songs, um, but I think that I know internally I could have done more with those covers. So, you know, that would be the one thing is that since I was so ahead of schedule, I could have spent more time actually working on the quality of the covers. But other than that, I think this Vlogmas was a total success. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be posting next since, you know, I post a video every day for December. I would like to get, you know, started immediately with January, but it just kind of depends on how many videos I can film before I go back to school in January. So, I want to thank you guys so much for your support. Again, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!